And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some smooth Zevi mill. We're going to finish out meme tier Monday with a combo deck where we're going to be trying to mill our opponent out. We're going to be using um, veteran investigator, two mana, three, two, when I'm summoned, all players draw a card. So the goal of our deck is to play veteran investigator over and over and over until your opponent has drawn all of the cards in their deck. Because once you draw all of the cards in your deck, and you have zero cards left in your deck, and then you draw another one, but you have zero, you automatically lose the game. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. Now, as you can see, that is all players draw a card, and we're, we have a lot of other things that draw cards. So therefore, we have to make sure that we don't draw too many cards. So to keep us from drawing too many cards, we have counterfeit copies. And this is going to be just a, a, a very key card in our deck. So right, pick a card in hand create four exact copies in your deck so this is a way to get more cards in our deck so we end up having more cards than our opponent so they end up drawing too many um, before we do ideally what we want to do is use one counterfeit copies on another counterfeit copies so that we can have extra copies of <laughs> counterfeit copies whenever we're drawing them so ideally that's what we're going to hopefully do and then besides that, we want to, of course, counterfeit copies the Veteran Investigator because we want to draw lots of them. So we want to make lots and lots of copies of Veteran Investigators. An easy way to get, so an easy way to get two counterfeit copies, because if we want one to copy another, we need two of them. An easy way to get two of them is Chief Mechanist Zevi. Because Chief Mechanist Zevi, whenever we draw a card, we give it fleeting and we make an exact copy of it. So therefore, if we draw one, if we have a Zevi in play, draw one counterfeit copies, now we have two. And then um, we can have one copy of the other, and then we have a bunch more in our deck. So that's part of our combo. Um, the other, so that's, the, you know, that's Chief Mechanist Zevi, and then also Smooth Solo. It's a smooth part. So this is really important because with Plunder um, enabled, if we play Smooth Soloist, then we reduce the cost of all of the allies in our hand and our deck by two. And that's obviously important because Veteran Investigator is supposed to cost two. If we reduce its cost to zero, now we can play it for free. And then uh, whenever we make copies of it, counterfeit copies does make exact copies. So those will also cost zero. And, um, you know, so, so we can make a whole bunch of zero cost cards there. Besides that, we have a lot of uh, ways to filter through our deck. Um, Zevi, of course, whenever it draws the cards, it does give them fleeting, which this can be kind of a little bit of a problem with Veteran Investigator. Um, if you, you know, end up with like a, a bunch of like fleeting veteran investigators, you don't really want to play yet because you kind of want to like have like a one turn mill them out kind of thing if you can set up like a, a huge combo turn. And so now we have this new card stress testing that can remove the fleeting from the, um, all cards in our hand. So if we if we do end up with like getting a bunch of like those veteran investigators that are fleeting, you know, getting two or four of them and we don't really want to uh, play them yet, we can wait till the next turn. And we can remove the fleeting from them. So that's pretty nice. Um, but we're going to just go ahead and give this a try. Let's see how we do. Um, it's, it's not a deck that I've played that much of. I kind of I understand what we got going on here. But maybe I will make some piloting errors. Hopefully not. But it'll be our uh, next deck here for Meme Tier Monday. We're just playing it in normal. This is Meme Tier Day. And we're going to be playing five games. And let's see how we do. Kind of like our hand. Heimer Lux. Oh, I guess Heimer Lux. We don't really need Mystic Shot against Heimer Lux. Um, but basically, like, Coral Creatures will attune and make a Jettison. And then we'll Urchin away the Jettison. Cool. Counterfeit copies. So pretty. And there's... Ooh, Shakedown. So there are 11 different cards that cost one mana in PNZ and Bilgewater. And we did the math, and there is... So with 11 cards, you have 10 of them. You have a 5% chance of drawing any of those. So, you know, we had like a 5% chance of drawing the Shakedown. So with 10 of the cards having a 5% chance, that's 50%. The other 50% goes to Jettison. So that's, that's how the um, algorithm works. You have 50% chance for Jettison, and then 5% with the other 10. I don't think I want to play Pool Shark yet. Let's see, so we get one Fleeting. We'll have four mana next turn. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and do it. Where do you stand on cold shots? Okay. 
we can play that. I probably should have blocked this 3-3 last time. It's just a 1-2. I probably should have just blocked. Stress testing. hits in there. Man, they'd, <laughs> they're probably looking at all their removal spells like, I don't want to play any of these. Wait a minute. I think this is probably Remembrance, but I'm if they play Remembrance and not Heimerdinger, I'm happy with that. Justice will be served. Sure. Our goal is to mill them out anyway, so their uh, Nexus healing does not matter. Okay, yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. Cause it, so if I play Pool Shark, then we get the Fleeting card, but then... Um, and I'm, I'm glad we didn't, because that Fleeting card would have been Better Investigator. But would have the Stress Testing to remove the Fleeting? It's still probably just not worth it. Like, we don't really need a 1-2 in play. It's just one mana. Really, what I'm concerned about is how do we turn on Plunder? That's what I don't really know what we're going to do yet. That's to, to be determined. Built to spec. Pushing my limits. Okay, so our deck has three warning shot, one parlay, three mystic shot. So we have seven cards there that can turn on. You dream it, I'll build it. I am planning on playing the Pool Shark this turn. So we can draw two cards, looking for turning on Plunder. Get two extra cards for the seven. By the light. I Again. don't think I'm going to play the Stress Again. Testing yet. I know I could to save this Zevi. I think I'm going to wait on the stress testing, though. Because that's that's what I was thinking. I was, I was going to wait till it's next turn because we were going to, like, blood. draw all these cards. And then, you know, be able to stress testing them next turn. No kills, no entry. My Zevi's are almost dead, though. So if I want to keep Zevi, I may... I guess... No, I'll still just wait. No refund. More equipment for the field. Built to spec. I need to clear a card out of my hand first. I don't change fate, but I can see it. All right, finally. Oh, but now I can't play... Oh, I can't play Smooth Solo. I don't want to play Smooth Solo. So I, I definitely have to keep a parlay for next turn for the Smooth Soloist. So I'm going to cast this Counterfeit Copies. I mean, well, I have to play this thing. But we're, we'll draw a card first. I don't know if I should copies another copies, or if now I should start going with invest investigators. Okay, just wait on the copies. Of course, now I know I have Mystic Shot. To turn on Plunder. Don't 
Double trouble. Ah, the sweet smell of science. Maybe they won't kill Zevi this turn. They only need to spend two mana of, of like, spell mana. Well, that's too bad. This is good. Surrender to the melody. So I'm not sure what I want to do with these counterfeit copies still. Do I now do I start copying the vet, veteran investigators? No more holding back. Or do I do I do one more on another copies and then the other one on investigator? Okay, so the goal is to find another Zevi right now. There's one last Zevi in the deck. Alright, two, two. I mean, I guess I might as well just do it the other way around. Two, two. Something the matter. Why are you here? I'm putting the, the largest hell things in front of the overwhelmed. Officer J. S. Hawkjaw, you did six. Alright, there's the other Zevi. So do I do I cast the counterfeit copies yet? And if so, what do I what do I cast them on? Cause next turn I, I Mystic Shot them and then play Soloist and then play Zevi and then start dropping investigators, right? So I think I can just put them on right now, because if I even if I just draw investigators, that's all I want to do anyway. I think it's probably best to do it right now. Yeah, I guess it's true. I don't even actually have to do the soloist part. The good part about like doing like the the mystic shot soloist. I guess the bad part is that it gets rid of cards for me to rummage, but I think we're going to be fine with cards to rummage. The good part about doing it is, is it gives my opponent time to start playing other spells. Like I, right, like I want them to spend their mana and do other stuff and not kill my Zevi, right? Like I'm trying to delay my Zevi from getting killed. From being played. So like that's that's why I want to do this. Close your eyes and drift away. A beacon through the dark. Finest gear for Piltover's finest. So I'm hoping that now they use that final spark there, now they don't have enough to kill this Evie. Maybe with those Hexlen specs, eh? Because if they if they can't kill Zevi, they lose, right? Like we win this game if they can't kill Zevi. This turn. That is fantastic. Wait, I only have one mana left. Okay, I'm gonna probably need that one mana for rummage. Observe and learn. Maybe with those hexlen specs, eh? A sturdy construction. Everything can use an upgrade. Cool. 
observe and learn. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? See, that's that's why we do the other the other smooth soloists. Now our dredgers cost zero. Good. And twist of fate will cost zero if we find twist of fate. So yeah, we're we're gonna go. Yeah, so we're, we've gone infinite as long as they don't kill Zevi. We have gone infinite. Observe and learn. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Um, I guess I do blue. Yeah, so they've they've given up. I realize we have gone infinite. GGs. Yeah, I think it's good to counter. I think it. I think it makes sense to copy the counterfeit copies. So yeah, I, I think it does make sense to, to copy counterfeit copies because of it. It basically just gives you more more veteran investigators later. I think. I think that makes sense too. Yeah, I think it's good to to copy it. All right, but yeah, but yeah, probably just the one time. Probably just only need to copy the one time. All right, Zed Lee Sin. Zed Lee Sin sounds like a deck that's gonna kill us quickly, and I don't like that. Yeah, so I want to keep the Mystic Shot for Zed. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be keeping like Rummage in the opener, or even the Sum Treasure. I don't know. Ugh. I guess I could just Urchin this thing. I guess. I don't know, then they get the gem. I just want to do this while they only have the one mana. Because if if I uh, do something else, like the Urchin, and you know, like they, they play the Zed later, then they have like the, they'll have the mana to protect Zed after that. Get rid of the warning shot, which is a card we need later on, but we don't need it right now. That's later on. That's fine. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? Deal me in. I'm gonna go Twist of Fate blue card, and who knows, maybe we level up Twist of Fate. Eyes open. Um, you never know. Or they have Sonic Wave. But still. That's a card that they don't have while well, they have Lee Sin in play now. Face me. So, this is fine. As long as they're not killing us and the game lasts, you know, the longer the game lasts, the better for us. Now I'll have, like, gold cards still available on the Twisted Fate if we need to use that. Breathe out. But I think I'm just going to blue card again. Always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpentine. Yeah, twist of face just a, a distraction for us. Are there any of these that I should discard to urchin? Oh gosh, they're just passing with all that mana. I guess I'll just pass also. Pleasure to see you, Master. Yeah, Fortune Coker. Uh, we'll just go and do that over here. Partly. So looking for our smooth Zevi part of our deck. Smooth Siloist. Chief Mechanist Zevi part. No, not Overwhelm. Worst thing for me to see. I don't change fate if I can see it. My lands need me. 
Prepare yourself. So Twist of Fate's at four. I could rummage and make it six, and then if we draw another rummage, we make it eight. And then if we do that, then we could go, I don't know, counterfeit blue card, counterfeit red card. We'd have to have another burst spell also for gold card. So it is theoretically possible to keep Twist of Fate alive. Now, is that worth it? I can get rid of like the Eager Apprentice and the Urchin. Gotta trust your instincts. Oh, or I could I could copy a rummage. Yeah, that's true. Copying rummage messed up the combo. I I'm not worried about this urchin or this eager apprentice. I'll go ahead and just get rid of them and just kind of see what happens. Okay. I don't want yeah, so we won't counter we won't go all in of like counterfeiting the rummage and going that crazy, but we don't need we just didn't need those other two cards. Um, alright, so I guess we'll pass. I don't even know if I do anything. I may just... may just be better to pass. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Because I don't want them killing my Zevi. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Okay, that is not worth parlaying. <clears throat> I'd rather them just give the Lee Sin plus two than have all those gems. Have all those spells. <clears throat> I'm not going to be killing that thing. Conflict is all in the mind. Well then stop attacking me. We don't need conflict. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with no conflict. Tell you what, I'll never attack you if you never attack me. No conflict. I think that is fair and reasonable. Center your spirit. Finest gear for Piltover's finest. Pass turn. I probably should have played this urchin first. Yeah, I should have played that urchin first last turn. Because yeah, then I would have drawn the pool shark and I could have pool shark also. A game. Go on then. So three, six, nine. So I have nine cards in hand. So if we're gonna draw, if we're gonna play something that draws a couple of card, you know, draws two cards, we have to get rid of card in hand first. We need smooth solos. That's the card that we're looking for. Smooth soloist. I definitely wish I would have, uh, you know, mulligan or you know, got rid of a parlay or a warning shot and kept that instead. Now, instead of getting rid of the pool shark. Um. Why'd they have to have the Lee Sin and the Overwhelm that kills us really fast? Why could, you know, like, they just don't have one of those two cards. Just like we can't find Smooth Soloist. Just have, just have a slow hand. Let the game go. They could, they could have Lee Sin and, and all this other stuff. That'd be, that's fine. As long as they didn't have the Zenith Blade. Also. Double trouble. Smooth Soloist. Where are you? Conflict is all in the mind. I really hope the Lee Sin challenges something small and not the 5 6. Go, floaty crystals! So that we can. 
So we can Mystic Shot that small thing to get rid of the Dragon's Rage. So that's still 12 damage to me. Something the matter. That's still exact lethal. Yeah, so there's there's no way I could stay alive, because I have to do that. But then we go to zero, exact zero. I can't stay alive. GG's. Overwhelmed too good for all of our little like one twos. If I triple Mystic Shot the Eye, I die really bad to um, to Lee Sin with the dra you know the Dragon's Rage damage and the Overwhelm damage. I I die by a whole lot. All right, so there's Smooth Soloist. There's Zevi. Very slow hand, but they are also a slow deck. We don't we don't need to be a fast hand at all. I'm keeping the warning shot to go along with the smooth soloist. We don't need to like throw stuff down right away. That egg. Sure. Did it move? You got 20 turns, hapless aristocrat. Can you do it? Did I mulligan smooth soloist last time? Welcome, Sam. Glad you've you've been enjoying the game. Deal me in. Yeah, I could keep passing. I guess I'll just play this thing. Eyes open. I'll, it kind of only just turns on their removal. Okay, yeah, they play the two go hards. I think that that's, that may be what they do is play the two go hards and so yeah, I should have just kept passing. What Of course, it's 10 cards. I probably should have kept that mystic shot. I, I basically played it because we had 10 cards. I don't want to play like some uh, some small unit that they get to kill with Thresh. But maybe I should have kept it because we have the other smooth soul list. But thankfully, uh, we drew another mystic shot. Lose yourself. So they've played three go hards already. Play on. Hmm. Come on a musical journey. All right, let's make these things a little cheaper. Cost too much. Oh, there's another one! 
Well, we're not making jettison. There's a right tool for everything. Please, no vengeance. Just pass. Hooray! No vengeance. Built to spec. More equipment for the field. For the field. I'm thinking that they have ruination in hand. Right? Like, like, like that seems very likely. You know, if not that, it's Karma, right? Like, that's that's their two cards they're wanting to play this turn is either Ruination or Karma. Especially how they didn't play Vengeance just a little bit ago. Hmm. Deny. I'd say that's a good trade for us, trading half of a parlay for a Deny. Okay, so that levels up. Their Thresh. So that's bad. That's bad. You dream it, I'll build it. Getting a bunch of cards we don't want. Okay. I mean, I think I'm actually just going to put... I think I'm just going to do both of them on Veteran Investigator. So let's see. I'm at, what, 21? They're at 31? Okay, no. We, we need more cards in our deck. So we're going to counterfeit copies one. Counterfeit copies. And then counterfeit copies the other. The Veteran Investigator. The question is, do I do another Zevi? And I, if I do another Zevi, I only have two mana left. No other Zevi. Because so right now every draw is three cards. If I play another Zevi, every draw is four cards. Yeah, I guess every draw of four cards does sound like overkill. All right, we won't do another Zevi. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Built to spec. Well, I can I can kill Thrash. Double trouble. More equipment for the field. I've ran out of card draw. Oh, I guess never mind. I have, I have a veteran investigator, right? I'm glad we didn't play that other Zevi. I'm definitely glad we didn't do that. There we go. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Stop drawing spells. I'm just gonna run out of run out of room. Yeah, that's why. We, so basically, yeah, we really want to draw coral creatures. Unfortunately, I discarded that eager apprentice. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Unfortunately. Yeah, so we just kind of have to.
we're not like in the worst spot, but our our best draw is coral creatures right now. <laughs> we're not in the worst spot. Game's not over yet. Maybe with those Coral creatures. Specs, eh? I don't really know exactly what this does for us, but it does something. So oh man, it does—it puts a spell on our hand. I don't want any more spells. All right, so now I can counterfeit copies. <clears throat> Rummage for next turn. Counterfeit copies. Mystic shot. So, like, if we draw a Mystic Shot, we get three Mystic Shots, and they're at five. I could, all, If I play Rummage, then I just get two cards, and, you know, maybe we just keep on hitting Veteran Investigators forever for the rest of the game. That's true. If I if I do Rummage right now, we could maybe fit... I don't, we could hit Stress Testing? I'm just... I'm gonna just counter... or copy Rummage. I'm gonna just do that. I'm definitely really glad we never we didn't play the the third Zevi. Three Zevis was silly. Yuck. Maybe I shouldn't have copied copies. Maybe they should have just all been on Veteran Investigator at that point. I don't know. I felt like I needed more cards in my deck though. Yeah, I did. I did need more cards in my deck. It should just be like Withering Whale. Yeah. This is the end. This was difficult. I mean, maybe... I think, honestly, maybe even just playing like the other Zevi whenever I did, like to to play the second Zevi out. I think, like, just kind of looking back at it, maybe that was, I think that was a mistake playing the second Zevi, spending that two mana on that second Zevi, and then, then you know, then we're making the three copies of everything. Um, you know, looking back at it, I think, I think that's where I messed that turn up, was playing the second Zevi. What Because we just ran, we ran out of cards in hand. Like, drawing three of everything, ended up being a huge negative whenever we just kept drawing spells. I was thinking that like if we even if like we kept on drawing more cards, if we had units, all the all like all of our units like would cost zero and like no big deal. We just throw them out there. But we just kept drawing spells and our our hand just got filled too too quickly. So playing that second Zevi, um you know that that really hurt. Yeah. So I needed I needed that extra two mana and I need the room in hand, and that extra two mana could have allowed me to rummage, and, um... Jeez, I've a loss. So I think, I think that was a winnable combo. Like, if I, I, I needed to not discard... I thought I had plenty of mana, and so I needed to, I needed to not discard the Eager Apprentice, and I needed to only play and not play any Zevies. I think those two decisions, if I don't... I think we could have won the game that turn with different decisions. But you live, you learn. All right, prediction here. Oh, sorry, so keep. Okay, so you think I should have kept Warring Shot there and not the Veteran Investigator? Warning Shot's important to have, of course, because we need to be able to turn on Plunder, but we we need that 7 mana card first. Finally, we found the Stress Testing. So we, it was kind of crazy last game, too, though. We, we did draw pretty bad, because we, we didn't draw units. We were just drawing spells. 
and they weren't even like stress testing, right? Because like if stress testing was a spell, <laughs> then we could have removed fleeting from all that. And so it wasn't our our spells that we were drawing weren't stress testing either. Spilled paint is just accidental art. No, our, our opponent was dead that turn. Like yeah, like they they yeah, our, our opponent was dead. If if we would have if I would have kept the combo going, if I I think if I would have changed those two other things, it doesn't matter if they had go hard and and uh, you know go hard and karma because they didn't have any mana because we were gonna kill them that turn that you know, ended up passing and everything. If I kill you, I don't want you, stupid. All right, there's my soloist. Very good. Jettison! Everyone's favorite card. I'm gonna have to like get rid of cards in hand. So I'm probably gonna counterfeit copies this veteran investigator, even though it is good to counterfeit copies one copies, but just because we're gonna have to you know, not have ten For cards again. But you want to wait because yeah, we we want to find Zevi, so we would like to wait on this counterfeit copies <clears throat> if possible. Okay, rummage, so I can rummage away. Let me just. Actually, let's just play this. Let's keep the rummage. Let's just play this. Get rid of that. Surprising Garen didn't I'm attack last turn. Shine. Three, six, nine. Because, yes, yeah, so I have nine cards in hand, so we are good. We can draw. I like having multiple soloists for, you know... Reduce, continuing to reduce cost, but yeah, we can we can rummage that later if we need to, but don't need to rummage right now. We're at nine cards. It's an acceptable amount of cards. <laughs> he said, "I hope they aren't smart and pick Equinox." Well, Equinox is good against. Zevi. You know, whenever we find Zevi, they can Equinox Zevi, and that's really bad for us. Shatter that. Never submit. Right, but I don't... We don't have room right now to rummage stress testing. That can be something for later. No outside. I like no overwhelm. Just don't don't have overwhelm. Come on a musical journey. Never overwhelm. Um. All right. I guess they will press the advantage. Stay resolute. Okay, so there's Zevi. So how do we want to do this? Do I want to play Zevi first and then Rummage? But then that'd be four copies, and that's just way too many. Uh, or Zevi first and then and then Rum. Yeah, because I'd, I'd rummage away. I'd probably rummage away like the Soloist and the, the Mystic Shot. But then that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I guess I'd have room for everything in hand if I do that. Draw one pleading there, there. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Alright, well let's see. I think we yeah, because I, I think we just wait till next turn to start going crazy. I mean as long as they don't have We're not looking like we're gonna die soon right now, as long as they don't have overwhelm. Stand resolute. Look sharp. Unyielding. Never submit. There is nowhere left to go but up. There is assistant. He 
This is outrage! Considering taking that five. This thing save more than five damage. Not sure, possibly. Surrender to the melody. All right, this is where we go crazy. And looks like it's gonna save more than five. Unyielding. You pay first. You should stay. I'm not done yet. You should stay. You dream it? I'll build it. I'll build it. Virtue guides me. And we can, we probably, I think we kill them this turn. Right, I think we're going to find another counterfeit copies. I want to get rid of that. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to find another counterfeit copies. We'll be fine. I'm always up for a round or two. So I want to play this and I want to get the two extra cards before like I rummage and everything. No, that's what I couldn't have happen. All right, so. Get rid of both of these. More equipment for the field. Built to spec. All right, no Zevies in there. Well, that's all right. Soak it in. Oh, right, I should have thrown a warning shot out because I don't have room to draw that. Okay. All right, that's fine. It's not as heavy. So we got five. The sun rock got me gold. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have nine cards in hand right now? Okay, good. Gotta trust your instincts. I can get rid of one of these. I guess you can win them all. <clears throat> so where are we at, Zevi? Now blue card. Soak it in. Get another one. So I think I'm just going to. I guess I just keep on going. Yeah, we just we just keep going. Okay. So let's let's just get rid of these things. Clear off just clear out room from the hand. Who says I don't share? That'll give me a little bit of mana still for this coral creatures. Hopefully you know, may hit like rummage or counterfeit copies. Nope, shake down. Zevi! There's a right tool for everything. We got five mana left. Plus we got an extra two mana with this eager apprentice. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? A game. Go Get these out of our hands. I might as well play the eager apprentice right now, it's not like it gets better. Happy to do whatever's needed. So I think, let's see, so we're at, okay, so we're at 15 cards, they're at 24, so we're going to have to find, oh man, oh, we're going to draw a ton of stuff also at the beginning of the turn. Wait, this is actually maybe not good. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? We're going to need counterfeit copies. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Counter for copies where you at? 
Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? We should have two counterfeit copies left in the deck, right? Anything else? <laughs> Double trouble. I'm just worried about running out of cards first before they do, right now. Oh, I should, yeah, I guess I could replace Twisted Fate and then replay Twisted Fate. No, I don't want to do that. Um. I could use two of me. Where's counterfeit copies? <laughs> That's the last thing. We just need counterfeit copies. Double Yay! There we go. Alright, now we copy the copies. So we get, you know, more of those back in. Maybe with those hex lens okay, specs, good. Eh? We're at 11, they're at 20. I'm gonna copies, copies like, one more time. One more time. Mm. Maybe we don't need to do it again. I won't do it again yet. We'll, you know, we're holding on to it. We'll see. Maybe with those hex lens specs, okay, eh? I'm glad we didn't. So we're at 14. Yeah, so we're good. Delicious. Use our mana. Get more of these things. Because I, I have to draw Veteran Investigator now. So <laughs> let's put them in because we got to draw. We got to draw one right here. Replace Twisted Fate. Okay. Because I'm replacing Twisted Fate so I can get the other one so I can go to, to, to blue card and stuff. Just in case. Back at the table. We're back at the table. Oh, I didn't mean to replace it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. I should be good now. I meant... <laughs> that was a mistake. That time. Okay. But yeah, now we got we got four more draws. And our, our whole deck is veteran investigators now. Yeah. So should this be game over? Maybe with those hex lens yeah, we, we cannot whiff anymore. And they have 10 less cards than us. Maybe with those hex that's, our, that's our entire deck is basically all veteran investigators now. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Options <clears throat> and Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Options and Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? So they're down to ten cards. I'm at twenty. Options and Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? So this is what this is what this deck does. Options and Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Just goes infinite. Options <laughs> Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Options and Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? I guess I could just cast this mystic shot to get out of my hand. But I can't imagine that we whiff. If we get closer to like whiffing, I guess I will. But they're yeah, they're at five and we have more than five cards draw, so. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? They may not realize that they're about to die. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? So we got our smooth Zevi with all the veteran investigators in the middle. 
Maybe with those hex lens specs. Alright, so they have zero cards left. Um, so let's let's see if they want to draw a card. Maybe with those hex And they can't draw a card. So they are out of cards. GG's. That's our deck. That's the entire combo right there. All right, so this, our opponent's deck does play Overwhelm, and they do play Direct Damage. Those are two things I do not want to see. Let me get the prediction going. Okay, opponent with a little bit of a slower hand. You definitely don't need this parlay anymore, having a warning shot and a mystic shot. Um. Pledge to Sejuani's service. Certainly considering Fortune Croaker, kill the Urchin, but just don't need to yet. Sure, we could. We also don't have to. So our deck's not really about doing stuff until we smooth soloist. Uh, they're just going to protect that thing. Do I want to use two Mystic Shots on it? Yeah, I mean, I do. Ugh. But I, I don't think two Mystic Shots is going to kill this. Oh, wow, it worked. It worked. Oh, I can't wait. It worked. I can't believe it. Because if they just play an elixir of iron, it won't kill it, right? Like that's all they had to do is a troll chant or an elixir of iron or you know, like basically you know anything because of the scar grounds out here. You small or me big. So I do have the backup Zevi. I kind of want to just play this other this other Zevi. I I really wish we had a stress testing. Okay. You drink? I, I'm gonna burn whatever's on top. We're most likely burning it, but this should just kind of help speed us up a turn, right? Because then we'll we'll have we'll just have this in play already. Wow. Which one of these am I blocking? You? Not just for building. Or you? Don't test my tolerance. Or just take it all? If we take it all, we like have to kill them next turn. <sighs> or at least get enough blockers. I'm worried about transfusion, right? Like that's that's what I was thinking. The like transfusion killing my Zevi. Me worried about that. Calling it two drop. Okay. We can cast that card. Close your eyes. So we'll call zero. Away. Zero zero. I really want stress testing. We'll take what we need to survive. The rest will burn. What's the coral creatures? I found my family, my blood kid. So I'm not getting the mana for one of them, but I. Okay, ye been warned. Do I want to ye been warned any of these things? I could potentially draw two with ye been warned. For 
silver I thought for gold I leased it. Stress assessing. Hooray. Okay, not yet. Let's discard one stress testing. Let's just discard this he's been warned. So I'll have one counterfeit, copy a counterfeit. But I, I still I need I need to find our zero mana card. So pretty. Um I need to find the, the veteran investigator. Yeah, because we need to draw yeah, we need to draw a veteran investigator first, so that's that's why I don't want to do that yet. So if I rummage now, again that's that's plus four, so it's plus one card. Let's see, so we're at three, six, nine. So we can get rid of Shakedown and a Mystic Shot. One, two, three. Yeah, so then I'm at exactly ten. Double trouble. All right, there's Veteran Investigator. All right, now we now we going, now we going. So can I? Can we win this game from here. Copy, copy, then copy, investigator. I kind of think I need to play the stress testing. I don't know. I'm going to use one copies right now. Okay. I'm scared. I want to, I want to use this. Yeah, Eager Apprentice. Eager Apprentice probably is a win from here. Um, but it, we did not. It's just will we die right here? I hope I just hope they don't have overwhelm. Built to spec. Man, the next card was Coral Creatures. It would have got me another mana. So that, like if I don't play the stress testing and <laughs> Sit back down. Yeah, if they don't if they don't overwhelm this. Obviously they do have overwhelm like if they have a might we lose, but if they don't have a might we win. Cause that's probably just game, right? This will be a fight like how are they killing me now? Just another winter. I don't know how they kill me anymore. Alright, time for us to do our thing. So we're gonna copies one copy. And then we're going to copy Investigator and copy Investigator. We got 35. Oh, Let's get an extra mana. Jettison. You must teach me. Do when you have time. I'll think about it. This will be a fine story. Just another winter. Hmm. More equipment for the field. That's not good. I want. I'm keeping the veteran investigator in hand in case we draw a counterfeit copies. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Cool. So that'll be two more mana. Take down to two mana. 
observe and learn. Maybe with those Hexland specs, eh? All right, can we get 25 more? <laughs> can we draw 25 more veteran investigators? That is the question. Before we like run out of room, you know, like if we if we keep drawing like the other units, though, you know, like we may run out of room. Maybe with those Hexland specs, eh? Observe and learn. Maybe with those Worst case scenario, like we we go to next turn and we have another Zevi and another veteran investigator in hand. Worst case scenario. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Observe and learn. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? All right, there we go. They have conceded. The game is over. Yeah, I should have I should have urchined first. Yeah, because Urchin is minus one card, so I, I should have Urchined away a Zevi. And that would have been minus one card, and then, yeah, I should have done that first, but... Okay. Observe and learn, maybe with those Hex Lens specs, eh? And we just keep on doing that until they give up, or the game is over. That's our combo deck. That's our combo deck, Chief Mechanisevi, Smooth Soloist. So as you can see, you basically just want to just kind of bide your turn, hopefully not die, play Smooth Soloist on turn seven with the plunder to reduce the cost, and then either have the Chief Mechanisevi and play from turn six, or the next turn, turn eight, play another Ze play Zevi there. Sometimes we're playing like Soloist on seven on turn eight, playing another Soloist, and then playing Zevi, and then going crazy on turn nine. But, you know, so it's basically turn 8 or turn 9, you go crazy and win the game. Um, that one was turn 8, the previous one was turn 9. And, you know, you're basically just trying to stay alive, have them not kill you by then, and you just go go crazy and combo off. That's, that's the goal, that's the deck. That's what you're trying to do. All right, Smooth Zevi Mill. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. It was pretty good. You know, like it, it looked pretty solid. I have to say, I, nothing about the deck that I, I disliked. I thought I thought uh, everything worked in here. Everything made sense. I think, it, I think it worked pretty well. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So again, y'all on YouTube, leave those comments, everything. Thank you very much for watching, though. I really wanted to say that. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you for the next video.